Foiling is really easy to explain because most people have been in an aeroplane and it's no different. The fluid is, 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 is liquid um, rather than air, but it's, it's, it's ultimately exactly the, the same principle. You know, the, the, the speed um, goes over the wing, creates a pressure differential which lifts the boat out of the water. And so that in itself, even in flat water, is quite a big drag reduction and, and anyone who's been watching the sail racing world has, has seen that for years. But where the drag reduction really increases is when there's a wave state because um, a wave, if you like, is like this and as it gets lower, anyone who's been diving, when you're down very deep, the water's still. So effectively the foil gets nearer the still water and it also has active systems to counter any changes in the, the water type. So really, it's an aeroplane, it is going through a bumpy sky, but modern autonomous systems are able to respond to that bumpy sky and give a comfortable ride in a way that's, as I said, order of magnitude more comfortable than a standard boat. The hydrofoils are Artemis maker all around drag reduction. And so um, it's a, a very different uh, shape. It looks like a T or a U, where the thing that lifts the boat up is just like an aeroplane wing, it's pointing only up and it doesn't have any surface piercing elements, it never goes outside into the air and, and adds the drag. Um, the downside of our system is it hasn't got any inherent stability, it doesn't come up and come down, you have to actively do it. But fortunately, you know, the aerospace industry, simulation, autonomous systems at a point now uh, with a lot of hard work from our team here where we can really use that to our advantage too and make it very, very stable.